up for Doughboy. Titties, where them titties at? Pull them titties out. There's a lot of women in the back. I was back there scoping y'all titties. You need to pull them bitches out. You thought I was back there to ch you know, just chill, but I was thinking at them titties. I'm high too. I can fuck all night. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't know my mic was still on. Hey, so uh, how y'all doing tonight? And this lovely money strings. I mean money strings. What the fuck? Money. Money plays. Let me get that shit right. Yeah, I've been smoking, man. Y'all had to bear with me. Uh, I was going to do something, but since I'm high now, it's going to be even better. So, let's get ready for this shit, man. How y'all doing tonight? There's more people in here than that. How y'all doing in this bitch? Yeah, let me get up. Let me get up now. I had to rest my stomach. Let me get all this shit. Let me get all this shit. Man, lately it's been cool. As you can see, I'm losing weight. If you can see it, I lost like three and a half, four pounds in the last year and a half. I'm doing great. I'm trying to accomplish a new mission. I'm trying to lose the stomach, but keep the titties. Is that even possible? Can I lose the stomach and keep them titties? What's up, man? You really dark over there, bro. The little flip-flop sandals, you know what I'm saying? The guitar. Why the fuck do all y'all with guitars play love songs? Can y'all answer that for me? No? You're not gonna tell me why? Little Harry Potter's brother right there. Give it up, Harry Potter's brother. Just up here and shit, singing about the fish. That's all I understood was the fish. It's the white boy slash black rapper. All you understand is the hook. The rest of the shit, I listen to the beat. Hey, man, you in the back, man. Y'all need to shut the fuck up. It's a nigga up here. You know what I'm saying? I do some nigga shit in this bitch. Like rob all of you motherfuckers. One step at a time. Nigga, OJ did it. I can do it. Actually, OJ killed some motherfuckers. Well, I don't know. They say he was innocent, but fuck him. You know, nigga, whatever. Where are all the ladies at? Ladies, make some noise. Woo! Y'all take a punch for some money? I don't know where that came from. That's the that high shit. That's the that high shit. I'm trying to... I'm thinking, motherfucker. Ray Rice punched the shit out of this bitch. Woo! That's some cold shit right there, boy. They make an example out of black people right now. You know what I'm saying? Mike Brown, they made an example after that nigga. The moral to the Ferguson shit is, don't steal cigars, nigga. Because ultimately, you're going to die for it, sooner or later. I know, is that too soon? It's fucked up? Whatever. I didn't know that nigga, no way. You can't, be, you can't feel sad for people that you don't know. I mean, it's a lot of people dying in Vegas. We don't be wearing their shirts and shit marching in front of City Hall because Metro beating the shit out of somebody. We don't do that. And talking about Metro, fuck up. Have y'all seen the presence of these bitches lately? Shit. It's gruesome out there. I seen a guy get hit yesterday by another dude on a moped. Like, the moped dude hit the pedestrian. You have to be... Some, something had to be wrong with the pedestrian to let yourself get hit by a motherfucker on a moped. Like, you got so much room to dodge that. Like, you know, he can't even swerve hard enough to hit you, but I was like, it was an old ass man too, old white man. I was like, you know, he just using the, he just using the government, dog. He did it, maybe his shit cut off. He probably had Obamacare and his shit cut off. So he just walked out and said, I'm gonna play in front of mopeds today and get hit. I don't know what that was, but it was crazy. It's crazy shit. Man, uh, I seen another accident today. I just want to say Vegas drivers can't drive for shit. I just want to let y'all know, y'all. Y'all yeah. drive fast just to get to the stop sign with me. <laughs> like, nigga, I'm smoking and driving and shit, and this motherfucker's honking their horn. I'm like, go ahead and speed up. I'm going to see you at Decatur anyway. <laughs> like, I don't even know why you speeding, motherfucker. You burning all that gas. I don't understand that shit. 
That's how accidents happen. Like, like, okay, I seen his accident the other day. I don't understand it. How the fuck did he get over the wall and hit the other wall? Like, it's a median there, and we're on the highway. So if it's a median in the middle, how the fuck did his car get from going this way to over there? I don't understand it. He must, I don't know. These, these accidents out here are crazy, because you don't know how the fuck they happen. Are you, oh yeah, man, I hope y'all washing y'all hands. <laughs> Just coming up off that bitch, shaking people's hands and shit. <laughs> I'm only saying it because I do it. When you see me come out the restroom, do not shake my hand. When I, when I do this, that means I ain't wash my shit, dog. I was playing with my balls or something, nigga, you know, hey. Could you ever have somebody do that? I let, hey, any gay people in here? I don't mean to say anything about you. Maybe I do, who knows, but the shit's nasty. I don't know why, but if you just got done sucking dick, you should tell a motherfucker before you hit the blunt. Got my motherfucking mouth smell like cinnamon toast crunch and shit. Cause it's fucked up. I was smoking at this bonfire with, I, I mean, I should have suggest, I should have knew they were a little, little funny and shit. You know, by the way they was walking. The one dude had fucking butterfly and shit on his sandals. That's the number one sign. He's fucked up and fruity. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know, they, but they sitting there. They quiet, quiet, fuckers. We sitting there, we passing the blunt around, we smoking, and I guess the weed started getting to him. So he wanted to start talking. He was like, oh my God, I just sucked the dick before I got here. And, the, and he just passed me the blunt and I took a hit. And then he said that, and I was like, my dude, you should let me know before you pass me the blunt. Cause now my mouth is tingling and shit. And that's, it's really fucked up. It's really fucked up. I don't even know where the fuck I'm gonna go with the rest of that, but it's fucked up. Number one rule is don't suck dick and then go out and try to smoke other people's shit. <laughs> Tip number one. Eating pussy? It's good to tell somebody that, you know, you just ate some pussy before you hit the blunt, because what if the bitch pussy was nasty? You ate it because you just thirsty. You know what I'm saying? You ate it because you like, fuck, I'm thirsty. I ain't had no pussy in a long time to eat this. And she, her shit's probably fucked up and nasty, but you, you ain't gonna tell. How many people here are gonna say, yeah, I, asked, I just ate some fucked up pussy? Hey. That guy. <laughs> oh yeah, give it up for Lil Wayne. His son, give it up for that nigga, it's his birthday. Daddy gonna buy him a Porsche. <laughs> what was I talking about? Pussy. Who eats pussy in here? It ain't, it's a lot of people, man. I know y'all niggas eat pussy, man. Some of y'all breath smell like that shit right now. Uh, you know what? Only thing about eating pussy, man, is I believe the woman should let you know when she's fucked up. Because, I mean, you know, people get drunk, and they get high, and they be fucked up. You pissed on yourself in the urinal? Oh, you saw that? My fault, nigga. <laughs> I thought it could reach, so I stepped back some more. My fault. I, I got some on the handle, too. I hope you didn't touch that handle. <laughs> what was I talking about? Nigga, I've been forgetting a lot of shit tonight. Eating pussy. Eating pussy. No, I shouldn't forget. It's just strange motherfuckers keep walking the path, though, and they scare me because they all unibombers and shit. I don't know. But, uh, fuck that, man. Let's get off that shit. Let's, how many baby mamas in this bitch tonight? Y'all don't want to admit that y'all baby mamas in here? We ain't got no baby mamas? Okay, all right, let me change it. How many side chicks we got in here? Any side chicks? I ain't fucking tonight. I like fucking baby mamas. Because you know what? They already got experience. You don't want a bitch that don't know what she's doing. Fuck a virgin. Fuck that bitch. Let somebody else fuck her life up. Get at me when, you know, after you've been fucking for a couple years. I like them experience as hoes. I like them women, I like them low self-esteem hoes. Y'all like them low self-esteem women? I love them bitches. Just tell them they look purity, they'll buy you anything. Just be like, oh baby, I like the way you look. Oh my God, I love you though, here's $500. Like, thank you. Cause that's me. I mean, y'all might not be laughing, but that's some real shit. I fuck with low self-esteem women. I like them non-confident women. I hate a confident bitch. You know why? Because then they want you to have a life and have morals and shit. 
You know what I'm saying? I just want to be a comedian, bitch, and not do nothing. You want me to go look for a job? Oh, my God, you going to look for a job? No, fuck that, bitch. You go to work. Okay, real talk with Doughboy right there. You know, just keep that on your mind. But, uh, shit, it's time to get hot, nigga. One minute, cool, because I feel like I'm in a fucking oven. And I'm just cooking up here. Keep cooking, shit. Woo, y'all done got quieter than a motherfucker. Why y'all so quiet? Y'all was just talking. What happened to all the talking and shit? That's cool, that's cool. Giving me your undivided attention. Since I'm a comedian, I'm gonna tell a joke. So, uh, let me think Let me think of something funny. Yeah, here we go. I was at the, uh, this table with my homies. You know, I got some homies. You know, we sit at the table and that's how I come up with dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Then I take the dumb shit and tell all y'all about it. But we sit at the table and it's, uh, you know, my, uh, my, my, my man Javier, my buddy Pete, and then me. Javier is a Mexican guy, and I love him because he gets cheap parts on everything. That's my nigga. And Pete, he's a Jewish guy, and I like him because I don't know why, because he, he's Jewish, I guess. But uh, we sit at the table one day, and uh, fucking uh, Javier, no, Pete asked me a question. And he was like, yo, Doe, how come black people like playing basketball so much? And I was like, well, you got to understand, man, because basketball, that's the only thing that black people can do where we can run, shoot, and steal and get away with that shit. That's the reason why we like it so much. And then I was like, you know, since we asking all these fucking questions and shit, I was like, yo, Pete, how come, uh, how come Jews don't eat pussy? And he was like, because it's too close to the gas chamber. <laughs> Usually that gets a little bit more loud, but there might be some Jews here, so I might have offended some people. I don't know. You want to hear another fucked up ass joke? One more before I get off. How does a black woman know she's pregnant? <laughs> because when she pulled a tampon out, the cotton already picked. <laughs> you laugh at that shit, you fucking racist? Hey, what's the opposite of Christopher Reed? No, get the fuck back. 